Hey, what's up guys, Mudded HD here, and welcome to episode 26 of my Journey to the Top series. And I am back, I know this video is going to be late, but I have been busy today, I played football, which started at 1, well, I had to go at 1, so it sort of prolonged the video upload and I didn't really have anything to edit, but when I got home I had the eagerness to do a video and that's what I've done. So this is probably going to be out around 10 o'clock ish, so if you're still awake then um, then you can watch it, and, and if you're not, that's no worries, because you can always watch it the next day. But first, a thing on the agenda, it is transfer deadline day, and I go in for a guy called Traore, if you were watching the screen. Uh, we unfortunately didn't get him, but we go in for a guy called Tommy Spur, he was released by a, a team... He's a left back, and I've got to say, he's, he's, he's got a right stat, so I'm going to go in for him. He's a free agent, and no means to worry towards uh, his cost or anything. He's just going to cost me in wages, and I managed to get him. So I, I wanted another wing back, because essentially we only had Blair Adams to replace either Sione or... What's his Issa Malay. Um and if they got injured we would have been absolutely screwed on that um on either of the wings. They they could have bo both got injured and then we would have been really badly screwed. So um I brought in a new uh, wing back for us to try and sort out that. But then we had a game out on, on transfer deadline day after it finished against Birmingham City. Now Birmingham City have a great team, very much Premier League style. Um, well, a Premier League uh, team, uh, but sadly they're still in the Championship in real life. Uh, but Kunic in the 30th minute, no stopping that bullet. <laughs> I'm going to say it every single episode, guys, but Kunic is unbelievable. I don't care if um, he scores 100 goals this season, because he probably is. At this rate, you'll see in the next game, there is going to be a lot going on. But it's he's he's amazing, and if you watch MGH's uh, video uh, that he does a he does a similar career mode to mine, where he manages Shrewsbury, he got a very good play. He got a a, a centre back called Joe Prutton, and I gotta say, <laughs> I think I think having a striker as a youth player that has high potential and a high rating as a young player is going to be a lot better than a centre back. So. I think I have found the better player of the two. Not trying to compare it with uh, him, his player, but I feel like having a striker of this of this caliber is going to be awesome. But first, we have a game against QPR. This game was simulated. I forgot to include the simulated game last uh, episode. That was against Rochdale, and I went and managed to win this. This is the Carling Cup. If you don't know, the League Cup is the Carling Cup. And we somehow managed to beat QPR, who were in the Premier League. So that was a pretty good result, to be quite honest. And we are through to the third round of the Cup, I believe. But then, we had this massive game against Sheffield United. They, last season, uh, came through the playoffs. We beat, we, we pipped them to the promotion spot. And, I've got to say, they did not stand a single chance with this new look side. Kunick was the man of the match by far. Now you'll see here he just he just he just doesn't care. He just scores goals for fun, and uh, he scored two there in the space of 11 minutes. And he wasn't done there either. He he grabs the ball here. He gives it to Quigley. He give, <laughs> Quigley gives it the quick one two, and uh, Kunick finishes again. He's great in them spots where he can just hit that top right hand corner. Or left and a boom you've scored a goal then we had a penalty after being brought down in the box couldn't to step up to get his fourth goal of the game 27 minutes it took him to get this four goal and we we're up 4-0 but sadly we had to give away a penalty Sayone not uh, being able to tackle properly and we uh, we, we uh, concede a goal there by Chet Evans scoring he should not be in the game at all, um, but what are EA going to do? It's, it's already uh, FIFA 12. I don't know how they would get rid of him, but anyway, he's not going to be in FIFA 13, so that's good. 
Kunick couldn't stop scoring after that goal because he went up the other end and scored another. So he had five goals for Northampton Town. Well, it it wasn't 5-1 to Northampton Town. It was more like 5-1 to Kunick. So then they cut back the ball to Chad Evans again. Should be out of the game. They get another goal back. But then Quigley showed his 1 million price tag there. Just booming that into the back of the net. Showing his absolute great ability, physical ability to get to manoeuvre that ball with his um, great pace and strength and whatnot, And uh, we win that game 6-2. So in the next game, we had Wigan. Now Wigan, as you may all know, are a great team. Premier League, Rod, Rod Yeager, 11th minute, amazing player. And they take the lead through that header there. Not very well defended by myself, but we went up the other end. Kunick on the ball here. What are we going to do with this? Kunick's going to go all the way on his own. Boom. 1-1. One, one. As simple as that with Kunick. He shoots. He scores. Uh, I wish I could end that uh, chant because then I could have a really good uh, uh, sort of chant uh, anthem for him. But um, I'll think of one for the next episode, possibly. But anyway... It was simply the Kunick show again, just simply turning players, scoring goals, simple as that. Look again, 28th minute after they went down our end and, and pressured our goalkeeper, we just simply blast it into the back of the net. So he's definitely going to go up in the overalls and I, I reckon he is definitely going to be top top goal scorer. Almost already because he's just scoring so many goals. He scored five goals last game. He's managed to score two already. But then Victor Moses came on when we had a 2-1 lead. And he changed, it, changed the dynamics of the game. You see here, he's hanging about on the edge of the box. And he turns my players. He's got such a great ball control. And he managed to score in the 90th minute to nick the three points away from us. That is the first time I have lost. In this, uh, my journey to the top series, um, since I believe League Two, because League One we went undefeated when I was playing, um, and sadly we've lost it to Wigan. But Wigan are great so uh, are a great side, and I'm not ashamed to lose that record to them. But then we had a game against Watford. There's nothing else to show but games here, game highlights, and um, yeah, Watford. Not the best team in the world. I think they used to be in the Premiership, but they sort of lost it and uh, uh, have been milling around in the Championship. But they didn't really stand a chance either. Quigley showed off his one million price tag, just finishing everything he saw. The nice sweaty goal here. I wasn't really paying attention at that moment. I was a bit um, uh, sidetracked by something. I know I shouldn't be sidetracked, but I was, and we had a great chance there. Morimoto. Chipping it onto the post with an open goal. I hate that when players do that. It's unbelievably annoying and hopefully they're going to get rid of that in FIFA 13. But then we came close again. Morimoto being on because Koenig was out of stamina. And we were in again quickly here. We managed to hit the post again. The third time in that game that we hit the post. But luckily, we managed to win that game 2-1, so only one loss this episode, and we won the rest. So yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. You see here, Brill is not happy. I don't really give two flying monkeys if he isn't happy. But yeah, th this episode is at its end. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, as well as my other content. Please go check that out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.